Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a... The drum line will be featured, and they'll do this little this piece. So uh, it's one that Maddie did uh, in high school, and uh, so we're uh, this is her feature. And we're gonna play it along and do a couple little solo jam on it. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Cowbell. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More cowbell, please. Okay. Okay. Where'd he go? 
This is a duo, uh, they work on the... Uh, oh yeah, okay, here we go.
unfortunately, uh, through culture and history, uh, a lot of bad things have come out, come about uh, through the sins of man, sinful man, and his uh, evil ways of using people as slaves, buying people, selling them as slaves. Uh, slaves came over from Africa over to the uh, Western Hemisphere, and uh, but out of uh, bad, good things can come, and we were, were blessed to have a lot of this music that we're playing as a result of the, uh, the music that was brought over from Africa, and uh, and start and they most of that was centered in uh, in the West Indies when they they settled a lot of them settled uh, in the West Indies and then moved their way up into through Mexico and into North America and in doing that uh, the culture is still it's still remaining so you have the uh, the great culture, African culture, that made its way over to this part of the world. And uh, when, they, when, the, when the slaves were brought up in North America, uh, New Orleans and the South, the Deep South, was a part of that, of that, uh, uh, that journey of the, of the slaves, the slave trade. So a lot of that music start was centralized in the southern states. And, uh, and they're still with the resettlements in, in the West Indies and the Caribbean and Cuba. So, uh, and, and so you had the music not only of the Africans, but then you had the European music. So the combination of the two, uh, uh, and that, that's the, the, beauty, the one nice thing about America is that you know, we have this combination. It's a melting pot of all these different cultures. I mean, it's a shame that had to happen the way it did, but it really blessed the rest of the world because now the rest of the world, well, the music that, that was uh, created in this unique style in North America, Western Hemisphere, made its way even back to Africa. So you can even see now African pop, a lot of it's influenced by the American, African American music from, from this part of the world. So it's like a big circle. So now you'll hear, uh, you'll hear like reggae uh, influences, which, you know, again, was reggae was a, a combination of African music and European music. And uh, so you'll hear, uh, you'll hear reggae music in Africa. So it's interesting how that music over here influenced the music uh, even now in other parts of the world. And uh, in the Beatles, uh, the, all the English, British invasion, they were all copying the R&B artists from America. So a lot of the early Beatles music was, uh, they were covering uh, Little Richard and uh, uh, you know, a lot of these uh, African American artists, and then they were writing their own music. But So anyway, so you have this, this culture in, uh, in, in Cuba that's still there, and a lot of it, the, it another bad you know, communism is rampant in uh, in Cuba, and you, I'm sure you all know the history of the Bay of Pigs and all that stuff, uh, and uh, Castro. And, but again, uh, the, the music, if you ever go to Cuba, you're going to hear some amazing music because people spend all day jamming. So that's where this term, uh, the Starga, uh, comes from. And uh, so the Starga is a jam, and the Afro-Cuban uh, Afro music is all based in uh, in the clave. So the, the most important instrument, I'm not, I'm not holding a clave here, but the clave is two wooden sticks. And if you go to, uh, we had a, a Ghanaian group, a West African group, come to Drexel. And they spent time, they spent time with our percussion ensemble. So we got to, uh, our ensemble members got to play with the uh, West African Ghanaian group. And, uh, the one thing they had was the clave, and it was the same clave they're playing in Cuba. So they're playing 